Hi, my name is Jennifer Boyat. I am preparing a book series called Millennial Parenting. The first book in the series is called The Groundwork for Parenthood. I am reading the entire series onto YouTube, one chapter per video, so that it is available to listen to for free. If you want the series in book form, the Kindle and paperback versions are on Amazon. In this video, I am reading chapter 14 of Millennial Parenting Volume 1, The Groundwork for Parenthood. If you haven't yet, you may wish to begin with the introduction chapter and video. Principle 14. The Peaceful Adult Living a Peaceful Life. The Vision. When your child is a young adult, perhaps at the age of 18, or within the few short years subsequent, what kind of person do you see your child being? What kind of qualities does she express? What kind of being, believing, having, and doing does she enjoy? Spend some quiet time pondering a vision of the adult your child may become. What is really important to you? What kind of transmissions would you like to have installed in your son or daughter that would allow them to move through this earth life in the best way? What would be the result of your influence during your offspring's childhood years? Now, don't lose sight of the fact that your child is going to make their own choices and that you are going to support them in doing so. As you ponder, perhaps something like he is a doctor or a lawyer may not be appropriate. Something like he treats others with kindness is better. Also, don't become attached to the idea that your child can avoid major character flaws or life challenges. We all have things in this life and in this world that will bring us to our knees, so to speak. Your child will be no different. In other words, in this vision, don't have an expectation of perfection and thereafter set yourself and your child up for guilt or similar if life doesn't look exactly like your vision. But do outline some very specific hopes. While cautioning against the values of perfection and rigidity, the reason it is nevertheless important to create a vision of what you hope the result of your, of your adult child will be is because it will guide you through some of the day-to-day -day childhood and parenting living and decision-making. Having no long-term sight at all is also a mistake. If you don't know what you hope the result of your influence will be, then you don't know what your influence day-to-day -day will be at all. You will rather make short-term parenting decisions and behave in ways that give inappropriate short-term results, such as just having home life be quiet or well-behaved or the way I like it at the moment. So again, set aside some time to ponder what your vision for your adult child is. Do this separately and then come together as co-parents to discuss and create a single, vis a single vision. While some variation is okay, if the divergence in your visions is too great, this may be a clue to reevaluate your decision to co-parent. Put this vision into a written document. You may even consider making a larger framed version of the vision to hang up in your home. If you already have a co-parent and children, and if your co-parent is unwilling to do this process with you, it is okay if you do it yourself. Also, even if your co-parent doesn't want to go through a formal pondering and preparation process, you may still get some insight into their hopes if you simply ask them a few questions. You may or may not feel it appropriate to share your final document with them, but do so if at all possible. They may surprise you. Obviously, this process is going to take longer than 10 minutes. Take your time with it, perhaps several days or even weeks. I cannot tell you what to put in this vision as it will be unique to you and your life experience and desires. But you can get a clue of where I might go with it as I titled this chapter, The Peaceful Adult living a peaceful life. Also, you may wish to include the vision I gave you earlier in this book. That is, your adult child will be capable of making choices under their own authority. 
Your vision may have only three or four items. It may have a large handful, ten or twenty. If your vision is getting past thirty items, depending on how you are structuring the vision document, you may want to consider that you are trying to pre-make your child's adult decisions. If you only have one or two items, it's possible that you're being too vague about what it looks like, and that may not be helpful as you make further parenting decisions, such as home structure. Once you have created a single vision as co-parents and have written it down, the next thing is to do is to review it and examine yourself in light of this vision. Are you able to model this vision? If this is the adult you hope to produce in your child, are you this adult as well? Please remember that your small child is literally going to be unable to do anything other than what you model. The psyche of human beings and children makes this impossible. You will never be able to create home structures that will defy your own modeling as a human being. If the answer is no, you cannot model the vision, then ponder yourself and discuss with your co-parents how you can how you each can model the qualities and influence you have chosen. If you feel that you cannot make changes on your own, very few of us can, study out in your community and or online to see if there are any resources that can teach you and support you in changes you wish to make. Plan on this being an ongoing healing process for you. Again, nothing I suggest would be a call for immediate perfection nor condemnation for any so-called failure or struggles along the way. This vision document and what it contains is going to be something you will, you will refer to over and over, both as you parent in real time and specifically as we work through the further principles and activities in the Millennial Parenting series. For practical purposes, you may want to obtain and dedicate a folder to keep the vision document as well as further written work we may do. You will want to review the vision document from time to time, perhaps yearly. As you begin to parent in real time and as you continue to heal and mature yourself, you will gain experience and insight that you will be able to bring to bear on your vision for your adult child. This may cause you to change elements of your vision, to simplify it, or perhaps to make it more thorough.